So let's talk crypto. Um, you're very rude about um, the crypto people. Uh, you know, okay. Am I rude? I don't want to be rude. I don't, okay. be, I don't want to be rude about crypto people. Yeah. I like them. I'm a crypto people. Yeah, you're, you're a crypto person. Yeah. And, and, and I'm not... I know a lot of crypto guys who are cool. I have a lot of good friends. Yeah. I've made a load of money with crypto. Yeah. I love a pump. Chain I, link, right? Yeah, I bought like loads. Yeah. I caught sold at like six dollars. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I love, I love crypto, and I love a crypto pump. Everybody does. When I say detrimental things about the crypto community, the point I'm trying to make is that many people out here, especially men, are not prepared for wealth. And when I say they're not prepared mm -hmm. for wealth, they haven't been through the struggle that's going to allow them to become a man of caliber before they find money. They haven't done the running to the fish stall, running to the gym, getting punched in the face for money. They've never done that. So what happens when a 19 year old kid catches a crypto pump on some junk like Shiba? Now he's a millionaire, fine. But a few things have happened. First, his ability to work hard has now been destroyed. He will never work hard again, right? Because look how much money he made on with blind luck. You think he's ever gonna go out there and get a job and take a, a pay of 50 grand a year and really dedicate? Never. Even if he lost all that money, the only thing he could ever think to do is to just try and get another pump. Mm -hmm. He's a gambler now. He's yeah. effectively a gambler for the rest of his life. So his, his whole work ethic's been decimated. That's the first thing. The second thing that happens when someone like him catches a crypto pump is because he has no life experience, no real world experience, no struggle, etc. he's now, Tristan calls them geese. Geeks? Geese. Geese? Yeah, like geese. Okay. You famise a geese. And famise is another word he made up, but you just famise them. They're famiseable. Famise? famise them. You, he made it up. I don't know what that means. You no do know. How many times you You're say a it. chick. You know what it means. No matter how many times you say listen, it, made up word, I don't famise know. Famise is you turn up with your pretty smile. Okay. Oh, oh, I love you. Da, da. He gets famise. He gets taken out of uh, the game. He gets famoose. Whipped. Yeah, whipped. Like he has no caliber. He's no. No character, right? He's got money, but money is nothing more than an amplifier. Money doesn't change who you are. And the problem with most of these crypto dorks is that they were dorks and now they're rich dorks, but you're still a dork. I'm still a dork. Yeah, money is just an amplifier. I'll give you an example. Lambo pulls up. Yeah. Nerd gets out. Now he's a super nerd. Oh, some tech dork. Da -da. He has Lambo. Who gives a shit? He's a nerd. Yes. Lambo pulls up. Big man gets out. Now he's a mafia boss. So the point is that the Lambo is not what makes you a mafia boss. The Lambo, if you have all the other qualities, will amplify your qualities into that sphere. It's an amplifier. Money's an amplifier. And the point I'm making about wealth and crypto when I insult these guys is that a lot of these guys don't have any of the qualities they need to be amplified. Mm. They don't have anything worth amplifying. If you're a man and you've made a bunch of money on crypto, the, the smartest thing you can possibly do is understand that the traditional paths to wealth, pre-crypto, taught you a lot about being a man. If I had to make millions the old fashioned way, I'd, I'd have to learn to negotiate, I'd learn how to handle stress, learn how to work really hard, learn how to network. I'd have to learn, I'd have to learn so many things. These autists don't need to learn none of that. Just met a mask, they don't know anything. So my point is that they've missed so many lessons on the path to wealth that wealth used to teach. This is why women used to respect money so much, not just for the money, but you knew you were talking to an ambitious, connected, mm. smart, intelligent man. Yeah. Now you can meet a man with money and he's none of them things. Mm. He's literally none of them. You just call a crypto pump. It's a unique atmosphere we're in. It's temporary, but it's unique. And when I say to the, when I insult the crypto guys, like, look, you have millions and millions of dollars. You need to get some masculine accountability, not to plug, but the war room is the exact kind of thing you need to be in, or you need to go down to a fight gym, et cetera, et cetera. You need to learn all the lessons you missed on your path to wealth. And that's why when I insult crypto guys, that's what I mean, because I'll tell you something. I've been to these crypto events, blah, 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 blah. I'm the only real G. Okay, I, okay, maybe some of them have more hundreds of millions of dollars than me, cool. I'm the only one who, who ain't scared. I'm the one who'll throw down the street. I'm the only one who, if a gun came in the building, would be looking to take the assailant out. Everyone else would be running like girls. Mm. You think money makes you something? Money doesn't make you anything, especially not in the harsh reality of Earth. In the real harsh realities of Earth, bravery makes you something, not your money. Your MetaMask ain't gonna save you if some dude rolls up at you with a blade and decides to stick it in your fucking neck. It's garbage. Mm. So these men aren't men. They're amplified dorks. And now they're all over Twitter with their little NFTs and their little cartoon faces thinking they're something. I bought this NFT. You still don't matter, G. You still don't matter because you bought an NFT. And, and that's the whole problem with the crypto world is that none of them are actually very impressive people in, the re in real life. Mm. And, and that's why I insult them. But I don't want to insult them in a negative way. I'm trying to inspire you guys. Look, you have the money now. Use that money to upgrade your character. Increase who you are as a man. You know, there's networks and things you can join. There's places you can go where you're going to have to genuinely be held accountable and struggle and suffer and go through some trauma so you can walk with some pride as opposed to looking like a complete geek.